Welcome back everyone, Lewis here. So with the past weeks being full of busy tasks for my part, I'll finally bring one more weekly add-on review. Today I'm reviewing the Extreme PBR add-on by Andrew Donati and his team. It features a big library of realistic materials that you can append directly to your scene and also customize them wherever you want. Uh, I will be leaving a promotional discount code by the end of this video, so stay tuned to it. But before we enter into that, just a shout out to our sponsor, Blender Nation, best site for fresh uh, daily Blender news. Now by 2019, you may be already familiar with this concept. We have Substance Source and Quixel Mag Scans for a while now. This one in its current version brings up to 600 materials built in, which for the max price of $49, it's very reasonable, less than one cent per material actually. However, they are not procedural materials, which means they all have fixed bitmap 2K square textures for everything. The big promise with this add-on is mostly saving time. To test that, I tried to come up with an arch facing in less than five hours of work and the results are the following. I really liked the idea of it working on the end tab and it's one of the most accessible tabs on the viewport, uh, allowing for working mainly on it. Right on the first panel of the add-on, you can see drop down to select the category of materials that you want. And it also features a toggle menu for you to decide which maps to bring along when importing. That, I must say, it's great, allowing my scene to end up with way less unused textures and junk materials by the end of the process. And that also makes it contextual, so per se, if it will only show you the settings to edit the displacement values if you checked the displacement textures before importing. You can quickly increase the ambient occlusion as well as the normal map strength those are the parameters that you may change consistently depending on the material and lighting. All of them have a hue, brightness and saturation option by default, which I always love tweaking to match the overall look of my scene. It has a special material that enables you to create glass instantly. It's called Glass Easy and that one has exposed IOR, uh, Fresnel and Roughness settings for you to play with. And it also includes a deformation option that warps the custom normal map to create more specific types of glass. I wish the next version could include a way to add our own custom materials to the library, as well as a parallax shader option for smaller surfaces such as beach rocks or something like that. There is no option for tiling textures directly on it yet, but I guess you can quickly overcome that by scaling your UV islands. In conclusion, I must say this add-on indeed saves uh, a lot of time. Most importantly, it allowed me to focus mainly on the overall look of my scene instead of dealing with node graphs every once in a while. Now that uh, node graphs aren't important, but they do unconsciously break the artistic flow and when you are having constant changes taking place requested by clients, it's a must have. And that's a problem I think Blender should address in the near future as well. We simply can't expose the main values of a shader on the main material properties, um, leaving the spaghetti alone. Every time you need a change, you kind of need to open the node editor, unfortunately. I will be leaving the link on the description below. Also, here is a 20% discount code valid until June 21. Just insert the keyword carob on Blender Market to redeem it. That's it for today, everyone. Again, consider subscribing for future updates. And also, if you really liked this content, spread the word, share it with your friends so I can continue and bring valuable resources every now and then. Until next time.